the CAFE Foundation has pushed the designers to much higher speeds than have ever been achieved before for electric aircraft. They demanded a minimum average speed of 100 miles per hour for 200 miles, and um, 13 teams uh, rose to the challenge, but um, a lot of them they f found it uh, more difficult than they expected, so the number of actual aircraft on the field here is down to four. The Igenius uses uh, around about 600 pounds of batteries. Uh, formerly it was a concept for a hydrogen system, so a fuel cell system, uh, but for the competition Eric uh, Raymond uh, heard about the, this KVCon uh, competition and uh, so as he was uh, had close uh, work together with the University of Stuttgart. He, he saw different planes for, for the purpose of this competition, for the limitation that we had here. And uh, so he decided uh, the plane, Hydrogenius, would be a good stuff for a, a good uh, plane to, to build the batteries in and probably to, to win or to, to participate on this uh, competition. We started Five years ago, and there was another competition in Germany where there was a goal to design an efficient airplane um, that should be new, two-seated at least, and yeah, safe, and especially environmental friendly. And it was first a hydrogen um, uh, system with a fuel cell, um, but we don't get the money to, to realize this, unfortunately. But then there came the a competition of the Green Flight Challenge, and we had the chance to change uh, from the fuser system to a battery system because for this competition it's more efficient and yeah, more reasonable, and compared to a fuel cell, it's also cheaper. The difference between a fuel cell and batteries um, is you have a big weight at the fuser system installed in a big tank and just a very small amount of energy you can carry with you and on the other side is the battery where you have from the beginning an energy so there are two curves um, if you see them who cut themselves and there's one point to which the battery system is better and then there's a point at which the fuser system is better and for this competition the battery system was what be the preferred one. I was really very astonished when I did the first flight how easy this plane is to handle. This is really a, a plane, it flies a little bit like a train, you know, go, you make the shift, the, all the controls are very good. Uh, the quality to fly, install, it's fantastic. We think that we can run around about three, three and a half hours. Of course, then we reduce the speed. So the interesting thing with the KV uh, race was that we should have a minimum speed, which is 100 miles per hour, and we should have a minimum distance, which is 200 miles. If we make really an economic flight, let's say with uh, 60, 70 miles per hour, then of course the distance is much bigger, and it's nearly something you know there are a lot of planes they are quite slow so if you uh, can fly to 200 miles or, or let's say 100 miles a typical flight is not as, as far uh, so you drink some coffee uh, you plug it in somewhere <laughs> and then you go back it's amazing and this is something of the future we have I'm quite sure this is 130 pounds per square meter, it's heavyweight due to the heavyweight of batteries. And it's a safe plane, it's, it's built like a plane under the rules of FAR 23, so this uh, a motor glider, and you can do anything what you can do with other motor gliders. Of course, we have not finished all the things that, uh, that uh, have to be done to make a, a commercial product of that. But it flies like a commercial product. That, that I really was astonished because it's the work of students and some engineers, they, they, are, they surrounded them. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that only four teams made it for the competition, unfortunately. And, uh, but there are tough competitors here and also I'm very surprised about 
how many volunteers are here and helping and it's a big event and I'm for the I, in Germany I think it's usually a little bit smaller. <laughs> I discussed with, with engineers concerning batteries, you know, everybody knows that we have a lot of electric mobility in the future, in the near future. And so these guys they told me that in 10 years probably the capacity of the batteries will be double and probably less weight as well. So if you imagine all the development that could be in the next 10 years due to a huge amount of money which is going inside of this development and the mass production of these batteries, then you can imagine that this is really the future, one of the future of aviation. We've known for years that this was possible and uh, it's really great to have uh, the ex airplanes actually here flying and it's thanks to the prize money offered by NASA and, and the Green Flight Challenge.